Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. I hope you all are doing good. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel as it will motivate me to share my knowledge. In this video, I am going to explain what is decorated design pattern. This will be the continuation of the design pattern series where in last video I explained what is adapter design pattern. So let's see what is decorator design pattern. So before we go and see actually what is decorator design pattern, let's see what the problem it is trying to solve. So to understand this problem, let's assume that we have a shape interface. Now this shape interface can be implemented by different kind of shapes, right? So just assume that we have a triangle, we have a circle and we have a rectangle uh, shapes. Now, these shapes can implement this shape interface and create a concrete classes. So here, if you see these three shapes, triangle, circle and rectangle is basically implementing this shape interface and giving it a concrete shape. Now, now just assume that we want to give the different colors to these kind of shapes. So triangle is one shape, circle is one shape and the rectangle is one shape. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give one red color, one blue color and one green color to all these three different kinds of shape, right? Now just assume that if I want a red triangle and what I can do is I can just extend this basic triangle by a red triangle, by a blue triangle and by a green triangle. So you can see here my these three triangle classes is basically extending this triangle shape and these are again a concrete classes. So here you can see if I have a three color and if these three colors I want to apply on this triangle shape, what I have to do is I have to again extend this triangle shape and give it a new color. So just assume that for the circle also we have to do the same thing. Like I'm going to extend this circle class and then create a red circle, then blue circle and then green circle. Similarly for the rectangle also. So you can see here if I am trying to add a property. See here this colors are basically the property of the shape, right? I want to apply some more property on this basic shapes. So what I am trying to do is like I am trying to apply the different kind of property here. You can assume it's a color. So I am trying to apply a different colors on these shapes. So just assume that tomorrow I have to create like two more color. Then in this case, two more classes for each shapes I have to create. So this is going to increase exponentially, right? Just assume that I am going to add two more shapes here and two more color here. The number of concrete classes which is going to get created will be like right now here it is nine. It will create uh, around 20, right? So five for each shape. And there is five so okay it is 25 concrete classes it is going to create so this is not a good approach to apply a property to this triangles or this circle or this rectangle so just assume how we can solve this problem think like this way like i have a triangle shape i have a circle shape and i have a rectangle shape and these are the dynamic property so red is a property which i want to apply on this triangle so it will be good, right, that I can apply this red property on this triangle dynamically. Not I'm not going to create uh, again red triangle, blue triangle and a green triangle. I'm applying this property on these shapes. So here, see, I'm applying this red property. I can apply the blue uh, color also on this triangle and I can apply the green color also on this triangle. Similarly, for the circle also, we can do the same thing. So I can apply the red uh, red color property on the circle, blue color property and the green. So this way if I am going to do, here I don't have to create the concrete classes or I don't have to extend this triangle or circle or rectangle shapes for different kind of property, right? So how we can achieve this? Just, just think of it like if I am not following this dynamic applying of the property on these shapes, we have a limitless possibility that the multiple combination of the colors on the different properties, right? So there is one possibility also that I want to create a, 
a triangle having mixed color. I want red color also and I want green color also. So in that case, I have to just think of like, if I have multiple colors, how many permutation and combinations will come and how many concrete classes we are going to create. So to overcome all this problem, right, we don't want to create a huge set of concrete classes to just apply some dynamic property on those, on those shapes, right? So how we can solve this problem? So to solve this problem, basically, this decorator design patterns come into picture. So by definition, let's see what is decorator design pattern. So in object oriented programming language, decorator design pattern is a structural design pattern that allows the behavior and functionality to be dynamically added. So here you can see this behavior and functionality to be dynamically added to the object without affecting the behavior of the other objects in the same class. So let's go back to this diagram and see what we are trying to do here. So if you see in this, in this, in this uh, diagram, you can see that basically we wanted to apply all this property to these shapes without creating these concrete classes. So how we can do that? This is the, this can be solved using this adapted design pattern. So let's go and see how we can achieve this using a code demo. So for the sake of the time, I have already created those interfaces and concrete classes so that I can give the demo to you. So just see here, I have a shape interface. In this, I have just a draw uh, basic abstract method. Now, these three, uh, these three shapes, basically the circle, rectangle and the triangle is implementing this interface. So if I go back to my diagram, so this shape interface and these are the three shapes, triangle, circle and rectangle basically implementing this shape interface. So you can see here, the shape interface is getting implemented by this triangle, rectangle and the circle classes. And these are the concrete classes. Now, this is the main class. The shape decorator is the main class. This is the class which is going to help us to not create the concrete classes to apply the dynamic property on those three different shapes. So you can see here, the shape decorator is basically implementing this shape interface. And what we are going to do here is we are going to use this abstract class or interface with composition feature of Java to, imp to implement this decorator class. So here you can see I have a shape interface reference variable and I have a shape decorator constructor and this constructor takes argument of the shape interface. So any class, any class which is implementing the shape interface like circle, rectangle or triangle object, we can pass in this constructor, right? And that will get assigned here. And using this, like suppose if we are passing a circle class object, here we will call the circle dot class. Basically it will uh, take that polymorphism feature of the Java and call the draw method of the circle class. So this is basically your shape decorator and this is the wrapper we are going to write on this shape interface. So this sometimes it's, it gets called as a wrapper design pattern also. Now you, you can see here what I have done is like I have created three different shape decorator for each color. So in this figure we have three colors right. So for each of these three colors like dynamic property we wanted to apply on these uh, on these shapes right so red is one dynamic property blue is one dynamic property and green is one dynamic property we wanted to apply on these three different shapes so here i have created three different shape decorator for each color like blue red and green and in this what we are going to do is extend this shape decorator class here you can see this we are extending this shape decorator class and in this we are in this in constructor, we are taking shape decorator, uh, we are taking shape interface object as an input parameter. And here if you see in this draw, like it is, it is uh, extending this shape decorator, right? So it is overriding this draw method and calling decorated shape dot draw. So, so here you can see that this blue shape decorator is extending this shape decorator right and in this shape decorator we have a draw method right 
this draw method is getting overridden in this blue or green shape decorator. So in this blue shape decorator, you can see here, we have overridden this draw method and we are calling this decorated shape dot draw. So which it is, it is going to call this interface method, right? This it is going to call basically this interface abstract method. So whoever is implemented, like if circle has implemented, then circle draw method will get called. So here you can see we are we are taking that object like uh, shape object and then we are applying the dynamic property of that uh, like here it is blue. So we are applying the blue dynamic property. Similarly for this green, we are applying this green dynamic property. And similarly for the red also, we are applying this red dynamic property. So you can see here it is going in a chain way. Like once we are creating that shape, and on that shape, we are just applying this dynamic property of the color, like red, green, or blue. So, and this is the demo class. So let's see how all these things working together. So you can see here, this is a basic circle class I have created, and I am calling this circle.draw. So it is going to call this circle method draw, which is this one, and it is going to just print it as a circle. Now, if I'm going and can see, now suppose on that circle, which I've just, I just created a circle, and on that circle, I want to apply a red color. So how I can do that? So I can use this red shape decorator, which is a dynamic property, which is a dynamic property I wanted to apply on the circle. And this is the circle which on which I'm going to apply that property. So it once this lines gets executed, it will give you a red uh, circle, red circle object basically. And you can, if you, if you call this red dot draw, red circle dot draw, it is going to call that this uh, red shape decorator, it is going to call this, this red color. So basically it will call draw, and then it will call this draw method, which is it will call it as a circle and this decorator shape is going to call this and it will and circle and then the set uh, and this set red border is going to call this method and it will print as a like red. So let's see and one more thing and like see we can we can apply this green step decorator we can apply this red step decorator to different different objects we can apply on the triangle we can apply on the rectangle and also like one of the diagram which i made if, if you see here i can apply the mix kind of uh, like two dynamic property on the same object also so how i can do that uh, this is the way so here i have created a mixed triangle I am first creating a red shape decorator. Inside that, I am passing the green shape decorator. And inside that, I am passing the object on which I am trying to apply this new, new uh, applying this shape, right? So here you, you can see it. This is the triangle. On this, I am applying first green shape decorator and then red shape decorator. So let's run this code and see how, what the output we are going to get. So see here, we'll go one by one. So this is the circle I have created, right? So first, this is a normal circle border and its shape is circle. After that, I have created a new circle and I'm applying a red shape decorator or red dynamic property on that circle. So you can see here, this is the circle of the red color border. It is creating a circle and then it is applying a red property on that circle. Similarly, if you see here, I'm applying the green shape uh, decorator on that circle. So I'm creating a circle shape and then applying the green property. Also, you can see here, this is the red triangle. It is just as like previous one and the last one. So where I'm creating a mixed triangle. So here you can see, I have first created a triangle and then applied a green shape decorator. So this, this shape decorator got uh, like this green shape decorator got applied on that triangle. And then this red shape decorator also got applied on that triangle. So you can see here, like by using this decorator design pattern, we basically don't have to create this concrete classes, this concrete classes, which is like, if we are going to follow this approach and the number of the like uh, shapes and the color, the dynamic property is going to increase, the number of the concrete classes is going to explode. And this is not going to work in uh, like big scale. So to solve all this problem, we have this very good decorator design pattern. If you have understood what is decorator design pattern with this video and I have made it clear, 
प्लीज राइट यस इन कॉमेंट सेक्शन एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल टू स्टे कनेक्टेड टिल देन हैव अ ग्रेट डे एंड गुड बाय